Hey guys, this is Just One Guy. I'm back here with my Mistborn game. And while I was making it, I figured out something that can apply to any third person game that I thought was pretty useful. Uh, this script right here called Track Enemies, what it does is it, it finds the closest enemy in a specific direction, which is something I was trying to figure out how to do for a while. And I didn't really think about this method until now. Essentially, what I did was I created this script to uh, find the closest enemy, but it doesn't find the closest enemy by tag, it finds the closest enemy by uh, collider. And I created this collider right here, which just goes directly in front of the uh, player, uh, essentially the whole camera view. And it just uh, touches all the enemies, and all the enemies it touches, it just returns the closest one. It's a simple script, but something I've been trying to figure out how to do for a while. And which can help with any game. Now if you see I have all these enemies here. And you can see the collider. It looks smaller than it is. But it's actually really big and a lot uh, deeper than it looks here. But if you look over here. It's getting all the enemies. And then it's finding the closest one. And I think this is a cleaner solution to just looking up every enemy in the game. Or doing it another way. And it just works. Now we're going to uh, take a look at the script. And here we have the script, which is basically just a list of the enemies, of all the enemies we want to get. Uh, the closest enemy in a particular direction that is touching. And this is important the body of the character. Uh, when I first tried this, I did it with the collider. And if you if you try to detect which one is closest to the collider, it's not going to work because the enemy is going to be inside the collider. So, so it's going to find the one that's furthest away. So what you have to do is get the, the transform of the player, not the player game object, the body of the player, because that's the physical object you're going to be looking at. And you want to detect which one is closest to that. And down here, we just have a basic uh, find the closest enemy. Uh, Everybody should be familiar with this. If you look up um, find closest enemy with tag, it'll find it, except it's not going by a tag. It's going by our own list right here, which is enemies. And it's a simple script that just returns the closest enemy and the closest enemy in the direction. Since we're getting enemies direct, directly from the collider, it's always going to be in the forward direction of the player. Right here is uh, something I personally added. Uh, the on trigger enter function and what it does is detect enemies with the uh, tag AI and it just basically detects whether it already detected the enemy so it doesn't uh, put the enemy on the, uh, and the enemy it doesn't find an enemy and then put them on the list twice that's what this stops right here it just says hey if it if it already has this enemy on here just return otherwise add the enemy and then it finds the closest enemy it only finds the closest enemy when it touches the new one. And then this is uh, on trigger exit. If it exits enemy and the enemy is already on the list, it just removes the enemy from the list. Which uh, is just a much cleaner solution and keeps the whole list clean. And this is something I thought was interesting because I never really thought about how to do this. And this was an efficient way I found of doing it. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Just in case anyone wants to write down the script, uh, I'll go through it slowly just so you can see everything that's uh, in the script.